how about you show me what that pretty little mouth can do? <laughs> this is so foul. This is foul on so many levels. This just turned into a horror story. You pull over in the middle of the woods, turn off your car, hold me down, and you're telling me you're not gonna hurt me? Hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to if you're new. <laughs> First of all, uh, if you see anything peeking out from under the hood, mind your business, please. Because um, I'm getting ready to shave off my hair because my hair just doesn't want to cooperate with me. So I threw on a wig, threw on the hood, and we're filming this video. Today we are going to be reading more Black Hat stories. Yeah, mm-hmm. is called it's called S drive and it's a gojo fanfiction i felt a gentle hand gently massaging my hair i quietly groan as their hand moved down to my shoulders you will be mine miss yn okay we have to think of a name uh, what's good with gojo what's a moanable name <laughs> we're gonna do mia you will be mine mia i sat up and i looked around i ran my fingers through my hair it was just a dream. If I touch my hair throughout the video a lot, I apologize. I sighed and looked at the clock, 8 a.m. I took my champagne glass, taking a light sip before putting my robe on. You're drinking alcohol at eight in the morning? I stood at the top of the stairs, staring at the girls. All of them had a guy under them. I looked at my securities to see that they were asleep. First of all, you're fired. Because why are you sleeping on the job? Lousy effing men. I gently made my way down the steps and into the kitchen. I grabbed a glass and poured a cup of water. See, you. this is what you should have did when you woke up. Water first, alcohol, never. Hand snakes around my waist causing me to gasp and drop the glass. Thankfully, the mysterious hands caught it. it it's giving Edward in that apple scene. Be more careful, they cooed in my ear. I turned to see the white-haired boy. You shouldn't be sneaking upon me, I frowned. Sorry, princess. I can't with pet names, especially princess. He chuckled. I groaned before taking the glass from his hands. What are you doing up so early, he asked. Had a bad dream. Why are you in my business anyways? I turned to him. Ooh, relax. Too much attitude in the morning. Maybe you should go back to bed. He put his hands up in a defeat before slightly laughing. <laughs> How does Gojo laugh? It was silent before he opened his big mouth. What's your name? Not telling you. I cut him off. Aw, oh, come on. That's no fun, he whined. I sighed, already getting sick of him. Mia, I spoke. Mia, he repeated. Hearing my name slide from his tongue and into my ears made my whole body weak. We're easy. Because didn't you just say you was already getting irritated by him and now that he's saying your name? We're weak in the knees? Stand up! The way he effing spoke made my head spin. I gently sighed before taking my glass and heading back up the stairs. You're leaving me, he pouted. Wake one of your friends up. Or better yet, lay with one of mine. He cut me off by taking the glass from my hands and pitting me up against the wall. <laughs> Don't you even effing say that, he growled. <laughs> ah, I'm scared. What are you gonna do? My eyes widened. He was just fine a couple seconds ago. Why the F is he so defensive? He used his thumb to gently swish it against my bottom lip. <laughs> Forget what I said about stand up. Let's sit down. Matter of fact, let's sit. The Who's easy? We are. Your lips are smooth, he spoke softly. I decided to give him a taste of his own medicine. I kissed his thumb before taking it into my mouth. Oh, she's freaky. Mia, Mia, I like you, Mia. He quietly groaned as I sucked on it lightly. I took it out of my mouth with a slight pop. He stared into my eyes, but the only thing blocking me from seeing his was the blind. No, because I never understood the concept of how he sees things with his blindfold on. And how is he staring into your eyes? I gently placed my hand on it. He grabbed my wrist. Ah, ah, ah. Not today, princess. He shooed my hand away. I scoffed. He handed me back the water before sliding his number into my hands. Call me if you need good or want to hang out. He approached the door, opening it, and stepping out. I felt my heart beating to the point it's gonna pop out of my chest and onto the floor. Gross. I pushed that feeling away and woke everyone up. I sighed as my house was now empty. Finally. I cleaned up the living room area, putting away blankets, pillows, and leftover snacks. I took a shower and slipped into a pair of shorts and a graphic tee. I paired it with a pair of glasses sitting on top of my head and cute pair of shoes to match the shirt. 
minutes. I walked around the plaza as, as eyes were on me. I watched a somewhat cute boy walk past. His eyes landed onto mine as I slightly rubbed my hands across his face. Too hairy? So you're telling me you walked past a stranger and touched his face? He turned around and grabbed onto my hand. Why don't you come with me? He snickered. I gently smiled. I... Sorry, but no. I heard a voice from behind me. The white-haired boy removed his hands from mine. My girlfriend has no interest in you. Ooh, who said y'all was dating? The guy then huffed and he walked away. I turned to face the white-haired boy. Why are we calling him white-haired boy? His name is Gojo. Why do you keep following me? I crossed my arms. Not her- Wait, but was he following? <laughs> I'm such a switch up. Oh my gosh. Why do you keep following me? I crossed my arms. He then grabbed onto my arm and dragged me into a sweet shop. Cause now he's putting his hands on me. He must want to- We're not dating. We're, we're not- We're not here yet. We're here. Matter of fact, we're here. Why do I keep saying me? Mia is being dragged. Why is Mia allowing this? He probably don't even know where he's going with the freaking blindfolds on. Ugh. We walked into a bathroom as he shut the locked door. I guess I didn't need to call you. You came to me, I smirked. He quietly laughed. He picked me up and placed me on the sink and placed both of his hands on the sides of me. In the public bathroom? Ooh, it's giving, it's giving gross. That, that's what it's giving. It's giving, you guys wanna catch some cooties. You guys wanna spread germs. Like, since guys keep talking to you, I'll just mark what's mine. Wait a minute, because we were at A. Now we're all the way at Z. Like, did I miss a chapter or something? Because I missed a chapter. I missed a chapter. Bro, how do I miss a chapter? Okay, we're just gonna keep reading. Uh, now I'm really sad because we probably miss out on all the smut. <laughs> he then pressed his lips onto mine, his cherry chapstick. I kissed the girl and I liked it. His cherry chapstick mixed with my strawberry lip gloss and, his, and he stuck his tongue down my throat. Testing for strep or... I wrapped my arms around his neck and his hands had a deadly grip on my waist. Wow, he mumbled in between the kiss. I tugged at his white button up and he shrugged it off. We're doing it in the bathroom. I'm grossed out. We broke away as he hurried to take off clo take our clothes off. How about you show me what that pretty little mouth can do? <laughs> Don't gotta tell me. I'm what? Mia, why would you say that? I got off the sink and lowered myself onto my knees as he watched my every move. He pulled his pants and underwear as his throbbing <laughs> sprang out. I wrapped my fingers around his elongated stick as he shivered. I swirled my tongue around his tip, licking and smearing the pre, the pre, the pre-milk around his He lowly moaned in response. I then wrapped my mouth around his going lower, lower, and lower until I couldn't take him anymore. His hands flew in the air as I began bobbing my head up and down. F he sang. I hollowed my cheeks going harder as his grip on my hair didn't get any looser. I mean, I hope you're not wearing a wig. I hope that you didn't just like get freshly braids done because if so, ouch. He hissed as his tip touched the back of my throat. I'm gonna waterfall soon, he said. I moved at a faster pace as his other hand flew into my hair. F, 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 he cursed. I took a breath through my nose as I shut my head all the way down. I felt him twitch down my throat as he waterfalled. He tightly gripped onto my hair. F, he moaned. <laughs> After he came down from his high, he pushed my head off of him as I caught my breath. I placed my hand on my chest as I tried to catch my breath. Cause why are we out of breath? I didn't know we were, we got out of breath after doing that. Okay. You did good, princess, he said. I took a paper towel and wiped off my mouth. <clears throat> Fixed my hair, I told him standing up. He chuckled. Exert dominance. As I finished putting my clothes on, he took the brush and gently combed it through my locks. So we have locks. Are we talking like actual like, like locks locks or are we talking Goldilocks? After we were finished, we both stepped out of the bathroom and left the sweet shop. I hope you know that that didn't mean anything to me, I said, looking at a smaller mirror. That's all right. I've got the rest of our day planned just for you, princess. <laughs> okay, Gojo, I see you. You kind of ate with that last sentence. That was the end of that chapter. I mean, and, and now I'm, I, I feel foolish. I feel dumb because how did I skip over a whole chapter? You know, if you really want that smutty 
dirty stuff, go to Tumblr. So guess where we're headed? <laughs> Tumblr. It's called Mr. Sinister. Liam likes to patrol the usual hideaways and make out spots in Raccoon City. Although he's in his late 20s now, the spots are still popular and it's easy pickings to write out tickets for loitering and underage drinking. He doesn't stake out Lover's Lane too often, but tonight he's extremely glad he did. He spots you alone, walking down the pole of a road headed out from the popular makeout destination. Her arms are folded, thin yellow cardigan paired with the modest gray skirt standing out as his time of night. Your head is bent down so you don't even notice him until he's pulled up alongside of you. Lost? Your head quickly looks over at him and you give him a shy smile. Cute dimple showing. Ah uh, no, my date, he uh... You frown. Well things didn't go his way so I'm walking home. Let's just say if there was a, if you had a date and it didn't go well and you're walking home at night, please call someone. In this day and age, mm -mm. stay safe, guys. Leon's eyes rake across your body. A low heat building in his stomach. Pack it up. Pack it up. Cause cause this is the exact predator we're trying to run away from. Cause why is you already looking at me like some feast? You're so vulnerable right now. He feels his pulse race in excitement. That's a shame, he clicks his tongue, drawing your bashful gaze back to him. I can take you home. Really? Another of those dimples smiled, grace your face. Let's not be too easy. Of course, Leon grins, boyish and sweet. Hop in the back. Back of what? He got a car? You climb into the back of the squad car. Leon's eyes watch as you tug your skirt back down from your thighs as you adjust in your seat. He wants to sink his teeth into them? Into what? the thighs, leave them bruised before bring his face in your... You sign relief and catch his gaze in the rear view mirror. I really appreciate it, Officer Kennedy. How do we know his name? Well, I guess like Leon is like really known, right, in the plot of Resident Evil. And first of all, why are you hopping into the back freaking seat? I mean, it's, I guess it's like easier to st neck, but like, because at least if you're in the front, if you're in the passenger, you could just like steer the wheel or like punch him in the... You know what I'm saying? Like, why are we in the back seat? It's no problem, sweetheart. You give him your address and he nods as he pulls back onto the road. A few minutes pass by as you gaze out the window, watching the trees pass by like dark shadows on the glass. So you, uh, you and your boyfriend, huh? Leon asks, drumming his finger on the steering wheel. <laughs> the anticipation is building inside him. You look away from the scenery, brow furrowed as you look at, at the back of his head. Yeah... Him. You trail off feeling embarrassed. You shuffle in your seat and tug on your skirt. He didn't hurt you, did he? Leon's sharp voice cut in. <laughs> Not you trying to act tough now. You was just thinking about sinking your teeth in her t into her thighs. It's gonna take more effort. Cause there's no way we're gonna be that easy. Watch me be easy. Oh no, no. Your eyes widen with surprise. He just wanted to go further than I was comfortable with. Your voice trails off as you bite your lip. Leon watches in the mirror. He loves the look on your face. Uncomfortable and unsure. Leon is giving pervert. Leon is giving creep. Boys can be very hot-headed. Especially when they're with a pretty girl. And you're a very pretty girl. That's creepy. Imagine you're sit like you're you're in the Uber, you're in a lift, and someone says that to you. Boys can be very hot-headed. Especially when they're with a pretty girl. And you're a very pretty girl. Cause stop the car. Stop the car. Let me out. Because if, if Uber or Lyft driver, because I would be scared. <sighs> he spoke, voice still tinged with a dark edge. You feel your cheeks warm, eyes catching his shyly. I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, he shook his head. I won't have any of that. Say thank you, Officer Kennedy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, he's like, he's like, he's dominant. He's dominant. Thank you, Officer Kennedy. You stammer out, wide-eyed at his tone. Leon gives you a lazy smile. Good girl. We thank people who give us compliments, sweetheart. Why is this giving 60 year old man? He doesn't even sound like he's in his early 20s. But the praise? We love to praise. We love to praise. Okay, you feel a low pulse of arousal at his words. Thank you. His smile widens. Anytime. I bet you're just the sweetest thing. No wonder why your boy pushed his luck. I bet you're still a virgin. At this point, I'm shaking in my boots. I'm shaking in my boots because why are you talking to me like this? This is not cute. This is giving creep. This is not giving the young, hip, 20, 20 year old Leon. I bet you're still a virgin. It's, this is creepy. <laughs> this is creepy. You press your palms to your face, shielding your embarrassment. That isn't appropriate to. I'm getting tired of both of them. I'm getting tired of both of these characters. Leon laughs. <laughs> yeah, you're just a sweet little virgin. <laughs> This is 
foul. This is so foul. This is foul on so many levels. It's not even giving Leon anymore. It's giving Billy. Uh, it's giving Bill. It's give, what's the old man's name? It's giving, it's giving Theodore. It's giving Arthur. It's giving Victor, Frederick, anything but Leon. You press your thighs together, hating and loving the way he was speaking to you. Speaking to you. It's all hate over here. It's all hate over here. Leon's sea dark eyes took in your flustered appearance. I bet you're wet right now, huh? Pretty girl. Okay, you got me there with the pretty girl. You got me there with the pretty girl. But, um, that's none of your business. Why don't you stop looking in the backseat, keep your eyes on the road, and take me home? And safely at that, because you're starting to scare me. You let out a harsh gasp as Leon laughs again. You watch as he pulls off into a thick corpse of trees, the road disappearing behind you before shutting the car off. <laughs> this just turned into a horror story. Like, this is not where I live. I don't live in the middle of the woods. Take me home. This is why you don't get in the car with strangers. I think you need someone to show you the ropes, sweetheart. Leon murmurs in the quiet... No, t no, no. Pulling out that... Because what? This is why you should carry a salt wet... No, wait. This is why you should carry, carry pepper spray, a knife. What else should you carry? This is why you guys need to carry things to stay safe. Keys, anything, because you can stab people with keys. It can be done. If there's a will, there's a way, because there's no fucking way you just pulled over in the middle of the woods. Officer Kennedy, I need to get home, you whisper. Home should be the least of your worries. I'm talking about so I need to get home. And you will be. But now I think I deserve a little treat, right? For taking you home. The audacity, first of all, I'm not even home. We're not even home and you're talking about you deserve a little What? This is why men don't deserve anything. Leon needs to go because oh, he grabs your ankles and drags your legs to lay out straight as he crawls over your body, boxing you in. There was no consent. There was no asking. There's... This is scary. Your hands reach out to press against his chest, stealing his movements. I'm not going to do anything to hurt you. You pull over in the middle of the woods. Turn off your car, hop in the back of the car, hold me down, and you're telling me you're not gonna hurt me? You bite your lip, wide eyes peering up at him. You promise? Leon could jump for joy. You were so trusting, which made you easy? So we're easy. We're, it, it, this is just utterly disgusting. And to think that this is actually the way people think in real life, this is scary. Of course, pretty girl. I won't do anything you don't like. I don't like anything that's happening right now. I don't like the fact that you didn't take me home. I don't like the fact that you didn't ask for consent. I don't like the fact that you called me easy. Like, I don't like you at all. Because if I had, if I had some pepper right up in your face, you take a deep breath and let it out. Okay. You're being such a good girl for me. That, that line was hot. I'm not going to lie, but this whole situation is not. Bars? That line was hot, but this whole situation is not. Somebody put me on the track. <laughs> your pouty mouth has been tempting him all night. He gives you a quick closed mouth kiss that he has you sighing. He presses more chaste pecks against your cheeks and nose before going back to your mouth. This time, it's a heated exchange of tongues and lips and spit into your gasping at every exhale and Leon has to pull away. He goes back again and again and again. Damn. He can't get enough of your sticky sweet kisses. Ew, sticky? The glittery strawberry lip gloss has him sucking your bottom lip into his mouth before releasing it with a quiet Sorry. Sorry. He coex. He cocks. Co <laughs> coex. Co co coexes. Coaxes. Bro, this word I never can say it right. Coax you? Co I'm gonna put it right here. He does that. To open your mouth wider and pulls away to slip his thumb between your lips. That is such a hot move. I'm sorry. Every time I hear about the. 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 the, the anything, the finger, and the lips. I'm gone. I'm gone. You got me. That move. Is an instant, it's an instant waterfall. Ooh. You slowly suck on the digit. Digit? So we're calling these digits now? Okay, I guess. You slowly suck on the digit and that, along with your blitz out expression, his elongated stick is jumping. He pulls his thumb away only to smear it along your red swollen lips. Ugh, you have a pretty f mouth. Wow. <laughs> he presses his thumb back in. Uh, I want your mouth stretched out around my c Okay, I'm not even gonna lie, he has a way with words. Does that mean that we're gonna excuse every past action that's ha that's happened tonight? No. 
No, of course not. No. My camera's about to die. Ah! You moan and suck on his thumb harder, thighs twitching and rubbing together. Your skirt gets rucked up from all the movement until Leon can see the light blue underwear covering your area. His eyes darken. I bet you're soaked down there. Huh, sweetheart? That's crazy. You whine as he pulls his thumb away. I've never w went this far. I don't know what to do. Leon feels lucky. Bro, we're... We're letting this raunchy six-year-old man take the first? Leon feels lucky, like he won the lottery the moment he saw you alone. He tries to rein in his excitement and take it slow. He moves back to kissing you, thrusting his tongue into your hot, pliant mouth. You tentatively suck on his tongue and he presses his, lip, presses his hips down onto yours, grinding the hard line of his elongated stick on your area. Uh, I'm gonna make you feel so good, pretty girl like the pretty girl. Okay, I did at first, but now I'm just like, enough. He manages to pull himself away from your lips and moves down to your thighs. He presses a few soft kisses into each thigh before latching onto the left and sinking his teeth into it. You give a sharp cry at the sting, but feel dizzy with how much you liked it. You're such a good girl. He mumbles into the bite, eyes never leaving your face. I'm gonna do the other side now, okay? And before you can even nod, he's pressing his teeth into your right thigh, biting down a little harder than before. Your head falls back against the door with a low moan. I knew you'd like that. You're such a f***ing slut. Who? Me? <laughs> Count your freaking days, Leon. I'm gonna do a part two, but since my camera's dying, we're gonna have to stop it here from the tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm, I'm sticking to Tumblr now. Next time we do, um, next time we do fan fiction, we're just gonna hop straight into Tumblr. Yeah, also, I'm sorry if I was, like, all over the place. The monster was really hidden tonight, and I got a lot of energy, so I don't know what I'm about to do. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>